I'd like to call to order the Committee on House Administration for its organizational meeting for the 113th Congress. Did my cough drop out here? <laughs> We're here today to formally adopt for the 113th Congress the rules of our committee, our oversight plan, and uh, the parking policy as well for this Congress. And let me just begin by thanking everybody for their attendance here today. I'm delighted to uh, see you all. And Certainly for all of our retiring members, or excuse me, our returning members, I think uh, that the entire Congress thanks you for your service on this committee, your dedication to the mission of this committee, which is ensuring that Congress runs in a very efficient way, a cost-effective way, a transparent way, and that as well we need to optimize member services for members of Congress as they serve their constituents and serve our nation. As well, this co committee has a principal jurisdiction, one that serves to protect and promote the very core of our democracy, which of course includes oversight of our federal elections process. This is a small committee, but a very important committee. The leadership of both parties do recognize that, so it's an honor to serve with each of you. Of course, we've all been selected by our respective leadership because of the unique qualifications that each member here brings. And I think with all the different types of responsibilities and jurisdiction that this committee have, has, we have an opportunity to have an impact in a very real way uh, in a way that other members uh, of Congress might not have. So certainly I think that's so in both the short term as well as the long term. And I think we're all excited about that. So let me just briefly recognize the, uh, the members on our side as we uh, begin our organizational meeting. Uh, first of all, Greg Harper, who represents uh, Mississippi's third district, third term in Congress, and his third term on the committee. So three is your lucky number, I would say. <laughs> but, yeah. But he's been uh, very involved in this committee on a number of different issues. Uh, last uh, Congress, he served as the chair of the subcommittee on elections. Uh, this Congress, uh, Mr. Harper has agreed to serve as the chairman on the uh, Joint Committee on the Library of Congress, and we're certainly looking forward to his leadership on, on that and so many other issues as well. Dr. Phil, Dr. Phil Gingry, uh, represents the 11th District of Georgia. We came into Congress together. We all called him Dr. Phil. We still do. <laughs> Uh, beginning, as, as I say, a sixth term in Congress and second on this committee. During the last Congress, he served as the chair of the Subcommittee on Oversight. And again, we look forward to his continued work on making a positive impact on Washington and with his committee. Uh, Aaron Schock, uh, who's uh, not with us uh, uh, currently, but uh, again returning to the committee, has been the chairperson of the Franken Commission. He'll uh, continue to do that. And uh, he has worked in a very bipartisan way on this committee. And we're looking forward to him continuing to advance those goals. Todd Rukita former Secretary of State, as was myself. Todd represents the 4th uh, District in Indiana, second term in the House. He was actually a president of the National Association of uh, Secretaries of State uh, at one time. And uh, I think uh, when we think about that as an organization and, and having them uh, continue as uh, stakeholders, ground floor stakeholders, as they say, on election issues, uh, that will be a particularly uh, great expertise uh, to bring as well. So I think between uh, Greg and Todd, uh, we have uh, really good expertise on the uh, election area. And uh, Rich Nugent uh, comes from the 5th District of Florida, second term in the House and on this committee, was a law enforcement uh, officer for 40 years, and uh, not a gray hair to be had uh, with all of, all of those years in law enforcement. But uh, he will be invaluable, particularly as we think about security on the campus uh, and uh, working with the Capitol Police and uh, so many other issues uh, as well. So I am delighted to... Uh, uh, have been appointed by uh, Speaker Boehner on this committee. I actually served on this committee in the 109th uh, Congress. Uh, Speaker Hastert had appointed me at that time. So I have a, a, a bit of an understanding uh, of uh, some of the various things that, uh, that happen on this committee. But I hope that my background as a former Secretary of State and all of my jobs actually in public service were administrative in nature before I, I came to Congress. So the legislative part was, uh, was new for me then. But I'm very excited about the work I've, I've spent uh, most of the last two months having uh, an opportunity to meet with the various uh, professional staff that is here, and I use that term in a very descriptive way. Uh, they are uh, incredibly professional, the staff on this committee. Uh, the amount of uh, work that they produce, uh, uh, going through the new members' uh, orientation, I know you can uh, uh, speak to that, uh, but uh, so many of the different uh, things that, uh, that, that they're involved with, the House officers, uh, whether it's a sergeant of arms, the clerk of the house, et cetera. I've been meeting with the CRS, the Smithsonian. Uh, I met today actually with the printing office, the printers, uh, all of these kinds of things. It just, uh, it is uh, great to see the dedication, the commitment, 
again how professionally they uh, approach their jobs and uh, and how we all want to do uh, a better job as we go forward um, as well uh, ranking member brady and i've had a number of conversations about the committee and and uh, his vision and uh, and i think uh, good communication is also always a critical component of uh, good government look forward uh, to working with him um, i will say that um, one of the things uh, that uh, and we're going to be addressing here with the uh, rules as we uh, do the rules, <clears throat> I think a, a way for our committee really to take a lead on being sensitive to the financial restrictions uh, that are being faced by the entire Congress, uh, certainly, is as we look uh, toward ourselves, is whether or not uh, we ought to uh, continue with the uh, subcommittees as they have been stood up for the last uh, couple of Congresses. I, actually, we didn't have subcommittees when I was here in the 109th. I know they were stood up uh, during the interim time, and uh, they, they've been a, a very important component of this uh, committee. Uh, but as I've talked to everybody, I think, about this, we've decided to uh, lead by example and to eliminate uh, the two subcommittees that we have. Again, I think with such a small committee structure, we can definitely show that we can do more with less uh, by doing that. I think a number of uh, issues <coughs> can be addressed. Uh, certainly the elections, bringing it to the full committee and engaging all of the members, I think is a, uh, uh, a, a very good way to proceed. And I think from an oversight committee, different things that uh, uh, Phil Gingry has worked on in the past with his subcommittee, we're looking forward to him taking the lead on a number of those issues, bringing them back to the full committee for uh, potential hearings, et cetera. So I look forward to a very productive Congress and uh, I would just simply say to the members that you'll find that uh, my door is certainly always open to ideas and suggestions on, uh, on as we go forward. And with that, I would like to uh, ask the ranking member for his opening statement. Thank you, Madam Chair. I appreciate, and again, I thank you and appreciate uh, all our conversations that we did have. I welcome you back to our committee. I'm a little closer to you now. This time you're pretty far away from me. But uh, it's good to have you here, and, uh, and I, and I uh, appreciate uh, you uh, conversing with me of which direction you would like this to go and accepting some of my feedback, and hopefully then I know that we'll be able to work together. This is a committee that tries to help people, you know, and that's what uh, I like to do. I like to help them before they need other people's help <laughs> or guidance, and uh, it's, it's, the, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, it's a congressman's committee, you know, it's a committee that we're here to try to be helpful, work things out. So I do appreciate the, uh, appreciate you being here and you know, looking forward to working with you. I would also like to welcome in our newest, our newest Democratic member, Congressman Juan Vargas from California. Thank you. Uh, former city councilman, state assembly member, state senator. Mr. Vargas is a stranger to the legislative process or institutions as a Harvard trained lawyer, and I will not hold that against you. Mr. Vargas will certainly be useful to all members of the committee as we work through the rules and regulations that this committee is involved in, as well as the details of election and campaign finance laws. And I'm also glad that you agreed to, to serve on this committee and welcome you. And we will be together, you know, uh, I will let you know just uh, what is expected and what this committee's uh, role is and what direction we would like it to go into. So again, thank you for being here. Madam, uh, Madam Chairman, uh, our organization is reading your brief, so let me say that I recommend that the Democratic members support the three re resolutions before us today. The committee rules, oversight plan, and parking policy have been developed with our input, and we should adopt them without delay. I look forward to the important work of this committee, and I yield back the balance of my time, and I again congratulate you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, and again, welcome to you. We look forward to working with you as well. So much for as a new member. Now, uh, the first item on the agenda is consideration of committee resolution 113-1, which is the proposed committee rules for the 113th Congress. Pursuant to House Rule 11, Clause 2, the Committee on House Administration shall adopt written rules governing its procedure. The proposed rules are similar to the rules adopted by this committee during the last Congress. They conform with recent changes to the House rules. As amended in this Congress, overall, I think these changes provide for greater transparency in the operation of the committee. I hope the members will support them. I now recognize the ranking member, Mr. Brady, for any statement on the resolution he wishes to give. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I have no statement. I now call before the committee, Committee Resolution 113-1, Committee Rules. Without objection, the first reading of the resolution is dispensed with, and the resolution is considered read and open for amendment at any point. Any member would like to offer an amendment to the resolution? Then I move that the committee adopt the committee resolution. The question is on the motion to adopt the resolution. I ask that all members who are in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 
a opposed opinion of the chair the eyes have it the eyes have it the motion is agreed to without objection the motion to reconsider is laid upon the table next item on the agenda is consideration of committee resolution one thirteen two which is the committee oversight plan rule ten clause two d of the house rules state that no later than february fifteenth of the first session of congress the committee shall adopt an oversight plan for that congress the oversight plan will focus on identifying and reducing wasteful spending within house operations by increasing operational efficiency and streamlining various house technology initiatives the committee will also work with the agencies that has direct oversight of by establishing best practices to improve their services to the house community as well as the millions of constituents visiting each year i recognize ranking member mr brady for a statement on the resolution thank you madam chairman i have no statement i now call up and lay before the committee committee resolution one thirteen two Without objection, the first reading of the resolution is dispensed with, and the resolution is considered read and open for amendment at any point. I recognize myself for the purpose of offering a manager's amendment. A copy of the amendment has been provided to all members, and without objection, the amendment will be considered as read. Any member wish to be heard on the amendment? If there's no further debate, then the question is on whether the committee will adopt the amendment. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, say nay. Motion carries. Now I move that the committee adopt the committee resolution as amended, and the question is on the motion to adopt the resolution. All members in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Motion carries. I don't want you to think every meeting will be like this. <laughs> we'll get used to it. <laughs> okay, the last item on the agenda is the committee resolution 113.3, the parking policy for the 113th Congress. Pursuant to House Rule 10, Clause 1, the Committee on House Administration has jurisdiction over the parking facilities used by members, staff, and authorized personnel of the House of Representatives. The parking policy for this Congress was created in consultation with the minority. I want to thank the minority for their suggestions and the bipartisan work on the parking policy. And I certainly want to thank House Parking Security for working with the committee and developing the policy. I recognize the ranking member, Mr. Brady, for any statement on the resolution. I have no Madam Chair. I now call up and lay before the committee, Committee Resolution 113.3. Without objection, the first reading of the resolution is dispensed with. The resolution is considered read and open for amendment at any point. Any member have an amendment to the resolution? And I move the committee adopt the committee resolution, and the question is on the motion to adopt the resolution. All members in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed say nay. Motion carries. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. And before we can conclude, I guess I would just ask any other member if they have any comments about any business before the committee or any business they would like to see before the committee or any other comments. Okay. This concludes all the matters before the committee. I certainly want to thank everybody for participating. Again, look forward to working with you all this Congress. Meetings now adjourned. Thank you.